Hello, my name is Ed Hughes. And I'm here to discuss this formula that uh, gives the sum of the rows, columns, and diagonals of a magic square. Let's begin with the definition of a magic square. A magic square has rows, columns, and two diagonals. And to be a magic square, the sum of each one of those elements must be the same. Let's take a look here. At this diagonal, for example, 9 and 21, 30, 13 and 17, another 30, to give us 60, and 5, 65. Going across this way, 9 and 11, 20, plus 25, 45, plus another 20, 65. Go back to this uh, formula and uh, discuss it a little bit. Uh, M is the matrix size. Uh, in this example here, M is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Columns, rows, 5 by 5. When M is 5, this term of the equation, M squared plus 1 divided by 2 is the same as 25 plus 1 divided by 2 gives us 13. And then that term is... that term is uh, multiplied by M, the number uh, or the matrix size, which we said was 5. 5 times 13 gives us a 65, which you may recall is what we got when we did some sums. Let's get rid of this M squared real quickly because uh, exponent scares people off. Uh, this is a square, so if we know the size 5 and we square it, it'll tell us how many individual boxes there are, how many 5 by 5 is 25, so when we number starting from 1 and going consecutively, the last one will be 25. What's not apparent here is uh, what this term represents. The, the 5 is fairly obvious. We want uh, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the diagonal. So whatever this term is, multiplied by the 5, as we saw here, 5 times 13 uh, gives us the, the sum. So, to understand that, we have to know a little bit about uh, averages or means. And here is the formula for an average. The uh, average is written out as uh, x with a line over it. It's called x bar. And it means average. So, x bar is equal to the sum of the population divided by the number of elements in the population. In this case, the, uh, for example here, the sum was 65, and the number of elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is 5. 65, div uh, 65 divided by 5 gives us the 13. And we saw over here. So apparently this 13 is the x bar. What's, uh, again, not too clear is why this gives us the average. Uh, the other thing we can do with this equation is uh, rearrange it. If we multiply both sides of the equation for the average by uh, m, this m disappears and the m goes over here. So we have the number of elements in the population times x bar is equal to the sum. In this example here, the number of elements is 5, the sum is 65, so we can compute x bar is 13. x bar must be 13. Because each column and each row and each diagonal has the same sum and the same number of elements, x bar, the average, must be 13 in, for, all of, for all of them. For every row, every column, every diagonal, the average is 13. So, What's left then is to figure out why this term gives us the average. For any series from i to n, beginning with i and ending in n, with equal increments, it's very important, equal increments, x bar is the n plus the beginning divided by 2. Let's go back a second and look at that equation. There's the 2, there's the beginning, 
and the m squared gave us the last one, 25. 5 by 5 gives us 25. So, that equation satisfies this rule. What's not clear is why the average of all of the numbers should give us the average of each individual row or column or diagonal. For example, in this row, the number 25 doesn't appear. All right, where i is 1, that's the first number, and the last number is 9, and the increment is 1, we can write down the series of the numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we write down exactly those same numbers in the opposite order, starting with 1 at the bottom and then ending with 9 on top. Now it's fairly clear that the sum of each column is going to be the same. And if we add these two series together this way, 1 plus 9 gives us 10, 2 plus 8 gives us 10, all the way down to the end, 9 plus 1 gives us 10, and then add the resulting column 10 9 times. 10, 10, 10, all the sums came out to be the same. 10's here, the sum is 90. So we can rewrite that as n plus 1, that gives us the 10, n plus 1 gives us 10, remember that uh, I was 1 and 9 was, uh, N was 9. So uh, here's the 10, and there's 9 of them. So we multiply that by, multiply 10 by 9, and we get the 90. Now we have to remember that this 90 is this sum plus this sum. Okay? So if we wanted to know the value of uh, uh, of this sum we would divide by 2. We can divide by 2 because these two sums are identical. Let's go over here and uh, do that. So the sum of the uh, 1 through 9 is given by n times the uh, expression n plus 1 divided by 2. Okay. 9 times 10, 90 divided by 2 gave us 45. So the sum for 1, 2, 1, plus 2, plus 3, all the way to 9 is 45. Now, let's uh, simplify things by looking at a 3x3 uh, three three matrix. And we see we have the numbers 1, and since it's 3x3, three three, the last digit is going to be 9. Now, back on the original equation, it didn't use n, it used m. So let's... Uh, change this equation. In this equation, n was the last number, 9. In the initial equation that we started with, the, uh, we used the size of the matrix, which was 3. So, let's rewrite that equation using m. m squared times m squared plus 1 divided by 2. These two equations are the same because m, which in this uh, example here is 3, squared gives us the 9. Now, this was the sum for all the digits. This row, this row, and this row include all the digits. So the sum of these three rows together, oh, this, the sum of this row, the sum of this row, the sum of this row, must equal 45. But we don't want the sum of the whole thing. We want the sum of this row. Okay. Now, since the rows have equal sums, we need to divide by 3, which is the order of the matrix. If the matrix was 5, we would divide by 5. And we're using the um, symbols, so we'll divide by M. You remember M is the size of the matrix. Divide by M, and... 
this m goes away and this exponent goes away. And lo and behold, we have the original equation. The sum of any row, column, or diagonal is m times the expression m squared plus 1 divided by 2.